assalamu alaikum okay friends so uh, from here we are now starting towards navigating in sap accessing sap system so we are laying some foundations to access the sap system and as discussed earlier there are two ways uh, to access uh, sap system so in the center i have drawn for you sap erp application in sap s bohana so this orange uh, uh, box is actually the server where sap application has been installed in s bohana system now we can access through potentially through two different uh, options as we discussed earlier either through gui so both of these options are gui options uh, on the left hand side and or through fury so on the right hand side the two options are fury options we shall see some of the differences of fury and gui and why there is a need to uh, come to fury when gui was already there uh, in some later videos but for now we shall discuss some of the key facts and key features of these two access points now if we access sap through gui application it means that uh, we need to download uh, a particular program on our laptops or desktop which can be windows based or apple based and then we access the sap system through that particular application so most of the industries right now who are working on sap erp ecc6 are actually enabling this access point it means that if somebody is working in gulam faro group and he wants to access uh, SAP server from his home, for example, he may have his laptop, uh, a pre-installed GUI app. He can double click that app and he can then access, uh, give the user ID password at other and other credentials and he can access the SAP server. Later on, SAP develop a web GUI. It means that uh, web GUI can be uh, accessed directly from the Chrome or any browser rather than downloading a particular application. So if an internet server is available uh, and it is connected to the SAP GUI server, then what we can do is we can have just a link through which we can click it and we access the same GUI interface through a web GUI point. We can log in and we can have all the access screens same as the GUI screens. So these are the GUI access points, uh, which uh, the uh, application access point was uh, the only access point earlier, but now access SAP has also, also enabled uh, for if uh, the client wants it can configure a web server uh, and access the through G web GUI uh, In the latest versions, especially in the SAP S4 HANA uh, The SAP is also enabled the fury access now why, why there's a need of a fury access need of a fury access because the GUI version is actually specific to particular systems uh, it can be accessed through Apple system or Linux or Windows but it's device specific. It cannot run on mobile or even if it runs, it, it doesn't uh, give the same screen uh, screen if we run it on a laptop or a desktop. So it was not globally flexible as such. It was not to say responsive to devices. So then SAP developed a Fury access point, which is again uh, either a web based or an application based. Uh, it's application based only for Android uh, or uh, I mean, um, uh, Apple phones, iPhones. Otherwise, it's mostly Fury based. It means web based. So we have a link and we through the link, we can open it in the browser and then we can log in. The main feature, differentiating feature between GUI and F uh, Fury are two. Number one, Fury is more user friendly. We shall see later on. GUI is relatively complex to understand. And the second thing is that Fury is a responsive uh, uh, entry point, a responsive access point. It means we can access Fury if we access SAP system through Fury. It doesn't matter whether we access through a Windows PC or an Apple uh, computer or an iPhone or an Android device. The interface will be same. So this is the beauty of the Fury application. That's why SAP used to say that it's, it has a now a global interfacing system. Uh, and of course, we have the versions. So all the GUI applications have different versions. The current one, which I usually use is 7.5. Uh, web GUI may have its version. Fury also has its versions. So the current version, which is the latest version, I think is Fury 3, whereas the SAP S4 HANA version we are using is 1809. So 1909 is also in the market. I am not exactly sure what this 1809 does mean. I think it is uh, developed in 2018, the version which we are going to use. And this is the version which most of the people, most of the companies are using in Pakistan and rest of the world right now. So this is uh, something about the entry point, access points. And now in the next videos, we shall see how to log into SAP using a web GUI and using a GUI app. And then in the next videos, we shall see how to log into SAP using Fury and Fury app. 
and uh, we shall also discuss something about the versions and we shall then uh, uh, explore and navigate in the recipe systems. Thank you.